What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to keep going on the F-350 project and uh, get this rear axle figured out. Uh, I have a junkyard housing uh, to put in it. Uh, unfortunately it has a different gear ratio than my truck so we're just going to have to swap in the gears out of this housing. So let's get started and get this all taken apart. All right, so here are the parts we're gonna reuse out of the old housing. We'll use the ring and pinion, uh, the limited slip carrier, the flange, and the bearings as well. So here's the new housing that we got, all disassembled and ready to be cleaned up.
so it took us a few tries to get the pattern right. I didn't buy a full shim set uh, before this, so we were just using what we had. But we took it in and out a few times, had to change the pinion depth, and uh, ended up with good backlash and a good pattern. So now we're ready for the final assembly.
so now we have the new axle pretty much put back together so now we have the 14 gears out of my truck with the track lock limited slip in this single rear wheel housing I uh, just have to put the rotors and the rest of the brakes on when it's in the truck uh, one thing I have to finish up now though is to fix a little bit of this I'm going to weld these back up and grind it smooth uh, since this is a cabin chassis truck, the spring uh, width is different uh, than the standard truck, so I had to cut those off and we'll re-weld those on. pretty good so there's a little rust where the original uh, perch was but I'm not gonna weld up all of that uh, now I'm gonna run the contour machine over this and clean up the tube to uh, get ready to weld on the new perch So it's not a restoration, so I gotta stop myself from doing any more, but this is where we're gonna leave it with the tubes. All right, so we have the old perches cleaned up and ready to weld back on. We'll just wait till we get in the, in the truck to set the pinion angle. back on the rear suspension now um, we're taking so much weight off the truck that I couldn't just leave uh, the leaf springs it's got a 14 leaf pack so I'm gonna change up the leaf springs a little bit clean them up so they actually work and uh, we're gonna change out the block so we'll have less leaves and a little bit higher block 
to hopefully keep the same ride height. So I've taken everything off here but the main leaf, so I'm going to break these apart, uh, take five or six out, and then we'll put them back together and, and then we'll be able to start welding up the uh, leaf spring perch onto the axle. Okay, so I have the leaf springs ready to go back together onto the main leaf here. <clears throat> Before I do that, um, I'm gonna take off the overload brackets here. I may put them back on, I may just fold them back on, but you can see it's pretty bad design and uh, they just catch water. So I'm gonna take them off and at least uh, paint it and clean it up. And then I'll decide if I wanna use the overload spring or not. Not really going to be towing much uh, with the truck, but we'll see. So now we are setting pinion angle uh, for the axle. So the truck doesn't have a CV joint or anything. It's just two normal U-joints. So in theory, uh, the, the flanges should be in parallel, not pointing at each other. So I've measured the angle of the flange at the transfer case, and we are gonna make the rear axle match. I'm gonna lower the rear axle about one and a half degrees is to make sure under load that we still end up with the uh, two flanges in parallel. So we finally finished up the rear axle here. So now we have single rear wheel with the four tens and the limited slip that was in here before. We have the leaf springs 
that I took about six leaves out of. Stock shocks, new rotors, should be ready to go.